This video is designed for you to have a well-rounded collection using only perfect 10 out of 10 fragrances. What do I consider fragrances that are 10 out of 10s? For me, that means they have to have a very smooth scent profile, it doesn't smell harsh at all, it's very cleverly blended, it has to have good performance of at least 8 hours, wearability has to be at least most of the year round so you get a lot of use out of it, and finally the, the price has to feel like it's fair. So usually in these videos I kind of do categories for these fragrances, so versatile, date night, clubbing, summertime, and then one for the office as well. The main idea is that yes, fair enough, you can probably just wear any of these fragrances in many different situations anyways, but having these categories is very convenient and also lets you have a variety of styles in your collection so you're not overlapping your fragrances where they're all kind of competing against each other. They all have their own specific role in your collection and they are enjoyed in different ways. Enough waffling, let's get started. Unboxing and reviewing Atrium Fragrances, Mr. Romantic. Wow, yeah, a lot of flowers in the opening. Really, really nice though. This stuff smells so high quality, like a high quality niche fragrance. First impressions, I'm giving this at least an 8 out of 10, maybe an 8.5. For your versatile signature fragrance, I'm going to suggest Zerjov's Uden. A versatile fragrance needs to be your Swiss army knife in your collection. It is your dumb reach. You want a fresh fragrance that has warm aspects to it, meaning that it can be used both in the daytime and the nighttime, and it needs to be balanced enough so you can wear it all year round. You need something that's inoffensive, but at the same time, Uden gives you a good, good versatile fragrance because it's unique. It's got a concept in here that's not really been done ever, and it smells high quality, but at the same time, very easy to wear. That's a very difficult, tricky balance to achieve. Zerch of Uden, I would describe it as citruses, coffee and musk with some woodiness in there as well in the backbone. You don't really get coffee fragrances being versatile. Coffee is usually a gourmand note you want to use in fragrances that smell edible, so intense sweet fragrances like Killian's Black Phantom. So having it as your versatile fragrance makes Udon very stand out because a lot of the time if you're spending the price tag that you're spending on Udon, you want something that's that's unique, something that makes you stand out. This is niche perfumery here. Zerjov often does this. It's a very good uh, niche brand. I've bought many of their bottles myself, however I will say for transparency purposes that Uden was gifted to me by Max Aroma for a previous video. However, I would have happily bought this myself full price. Your versatile fragrance is the foundation of your collection. It needs to be something fantastic. I think Uden has us covered for this. For your evening or date night scenario, go for Le Mal's Le Parfum by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Le Mal Le Parfum is probably one of the best releases in recent times from Jean-Paul Gaultier. In the world of really redundant flankers, they've actually made a really good flanker here. Something that takes the original and actually puts a really clever twist on it. They took the original Le Mal, made it more mature, grown up, balanced, and more refined. It has a very romantic take to the original Le Mal. It's got this very powerful cardamom and iris combination in here to give it that soft, powdery glow that really does put a clever twist on Le Mal. Fantastic performance as well. People complain about the original Le Mal being reformulated. This is 10 hours longevity with a medium amount of projection. So don't go too heavy if you want to be in very intimate encounters. So it's one of the best romantic fragrances on the market, one of the best cardamom fragrances on the market. And not only is it good for date nights, but it's just generally a very good evening scent or any casual environment. If you want a slightly sweeter, but still balanced, refined, mature fragrance to wear in your casual events, then Le Parfum really is fantastic value for money. In the office, I recommend this masterpiece, Penhaligon Sartorial. Only some guys in the fragrance community actually truly appreciate this. This is quite tricky to try in person. And when people go to the brand of Penhaligons, they go for the Animal Heads collection that they do. They go for Halfetti. Those are the usual talked about releases from the brand. Sartorial is a hidden gem that is extremely affordable because you can usually find it around £100. One of the best barbershop fragrances ever created in history. Barbershop fragrances are clean, aftershave, soapy smells. Uh, that sort of reminds you of a lot of lavender, of course, when you go to the barber, the aftershaves they usually use on you, that's the kind of scent family you're going for. So usually that scent family is quite clean and professional in general, and it's the perfect family to use in the office. So Artorial then puts a creative twist that makes it worth pursuing and getting this, because it has these very clean, linen-like, freshly pressed iron musks in there. It sort of smells like a freshly pressed white shirt you'd wear to the office, and then has this very interesting honey note. So it's a barbershop, Freshly pressed linen honey fragrance. Very masculine still, unique again. Unique is very important in these kind of collections and also great longevity, eight hours with a soft projection. Perfect performance for an office fragrance. 
If you want a fragrance that's loud, you just want to get attention in environments like parties, clubs, or gigs, get Alexandria Fragrances Hefez 1984. Fantastic fragrance for the money. You only need 30 mils of this, in my opinion. It's such a strong fragrance. This category is all about grabbing attention. For some reason, let's say you're just in a highly stimulated environment, everyone's got their loudest colognes on, you need to stand out. You so not only do you need to stand out with your performance, so you need a loud fragrance, but you also need something that's very unique. No one, apart from a few legends in the fragrance community, will know this fragrance exists. Spices, rum, vanilla, and tobacco. This is an ashy, spiky tobacco. Proper, proper manly for guys who enjoy fragrances like Jazz Club or Mancera's Red Tobacco. Not a smooth tobacco like Herod. It's not a sweet, playful, very reserved tobacco. This is manliness, ruggedness, ashy tobacco that will hit you in the face and <laughs> will make you think like, wow, is this a good fragrance at first? But actually, no, it's, it's complex. You want For these perfect 10 out of 10 collections, you want something that makes you stand out, but also something that's complex. It has interest to it. It has a top, mid, and base that is identifiable, uh, makes it interesting. You don't want to get bored of these kind of fragrances. If you were going for, so the whole idea of this video is, is you're sort of going for quality over quantity. And if you want that, Hafez will do that in your collection and it will give you a lot to go back to. You'll smell something else in the in the fragrance profile every time you go to it, which makes it interesting. 12 hours longevity with a medium to loud projection. Go for this, it's so affordable. I think this is a safe blind buy. For the spring and summer fragrance, go for Roja Parfums Burlington 1819. Easily one of Roja's best fragrances. This smells like wealth. That's all I'm gonna say, this smells like wealth. <laughs> a lot of summer fragrances don't have that potency and as well as that combined potency and naturalness of this ingredient. This is natural smelling, very unique, and very long lasting, which is very difficult to do for a summer fragrance. Hence why you're paying such a high price for this, around 270 to 300 pounds. Roger Parfums Burlington 1819 was one of the first fragrances I sampled uh, last year for the summertime, and since then I got hooked. One sample and I was just obsessed with this. I, I knew I was gonna get this as a signature as a full bottle. It smells like an orange fragrance, very natural orange, fresh spiciness, mixed with rum, mixed with amber. So it has that balance there. I, th I still think this is a daytime predominant fragrance. Fresh, luxurious, wealthy man's orange fragrance is how I describe this. So sort of like, if you like Terre d'Hermes Eau de Toilette, the kind of one upgrade, it's not the same, it's not a similar scent really, but it's sort of a similar category. It's a very professional, wealthy man's orange fragrance. So. This is how you upgrade. Go from Terre de Mez to this. 12 hours longevity with medium projection, fantastic performance for a fresh summer fragrance. And that concludes this video, guys. Do you agree that collectors should stop focusing so much on quantity and start slowing down their collecting, getting quality instead? That's sort of what this video is all about, is to encourage that sort of purchasing and to really make you guys get the fragrances that really stand out and get you those fragrances that really you will love forever and ever and give you a lot of complexity a little fun interest, you wanna keep going back to them. So hopefully this video achieved that for you guys. What do you think? Or would you suggest other fragrances for this kind of idea? So if you had to suggest five fragrances in these five different categories, let us know what they would be in the comments down below. If you enjoy this kind of video, guys, make sure to check out our other videos on perfect 10 out of 10 fragrances. Thank you for watching as always, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.